Hey there, Sharon Hornellstrom here. Welcome to day 22 of our BU 365 Day Challenge, doing one thing every day that improves us. The month of January, we are talking about our physical well-being, our physical environment, things like that. Anything physical, and then later on, we'll talk about the other areas and aspects of our life, one per month for the first nine months of this year. The way I've been taught to break down and look at my life in different areas. They all interact, they all interconnect. I love this diagram because it shows how interconnected all the areas and aspects of our life are. So it's impossible to separate them. But for planning purposes, for thinking about them, we kind of have to separate them at least a little bit in our mind and in our lives so that we can concentrate on what's really important to us at any given time. So today we're gonna to talk about hydration water, not necessarily bottled water, I actually drink less bottled water these days. I, mean, I grew up when there was no bottled water. You had a drinking fountain and a tap and everybody shared it. Everybody stood in line at school to wait for a, a drink at the drinking fountain. But we're going to talk about, I think that once we all hit a certain age or adulthood, even as kids, we know it's important to drink water every day. Now, how much is up for debate? Because it's like anything else. It totally, 100% depends on you. How much water do you need? It's different for you than it is for me. It depends on your size, it depends on your weight, depends on your diet, depends on your environment where you live, all these things. So it's up to you to use yourself as an science experiment and, and figure out for you. And there's ways to know if you're drinking enough water or not drinking enough water. If you're getting up 12 times during the night, to go to the bathroom, you're probably drinking too much water during the day. If you are dehydrated or have very yellow or colored uh, urine, gross, but let's talk about it, that means you're probably dehydrated and not getting enough water. If you're feeling dizzy or headache or other symptoms, or if you have super dry skin or wrinkles, God forbid, I must need more water. So what are the 10 main things? I found a study from Mayo Clinic that I thought was pretty interesting that reminds us of the 10 major reasons we need to get enough water every day enough not not coffee now I get plenty of coffee every day but actual water and then I will share with you a trick my dad taught me after my sudden cardiac arrest to make sure that I was getting enough water it's the same one he used after his heart attacks to make sure he was getting enough water because like me he wasn't drinking enough water when he had his health incident and neither was I when I had mine so what are the 10 things that hydration and water does for us. And then I'll share my dad's trick that I now use and I call it my trick too. Number one, it carries nutrients and oxygen to our cells. Hello, our blood is made up of 90% water. Our bodies are made up of 60 some percent water total, but our blood is 90% water. So if we don't have enough hydration and water, we get dehydrated and the nutrients and the oxygen don't get to our, our organs, our heart, our breathing, anything and we will not function. We'll be tired and have not, not have energy. We might actually pass out. I know people, including me, that have passed out due to being dehydrated. It flushes bacteria out of our bladder. That's why we go to the bathroom. That's why looking at what color it is will give you an indication of whether you might need more water or not. Uh, it aids digestion. It prevents constipation, another fun uh, fact. It normalizes our blood pressure, which for some of us is very, very important. Following my heart event, I had high, high blood pressure and, and I didn't want to have to take medication for it. So between diet and hydration and exercise and different things, I got to the point where I don't have to take a high blood pressure medicine. I don't want to. Uh, stabilizes our heart rate. Again, important for some of us with heart challenges. It cushions our joints. Now, I actually have arthritis as well so it's important that my joints get as much cushioning as they possibly can by and I like to aid that by drinking water also okay here's my whole medical history I had kidney stones and had to have kidney surgery when I was younger and uh, since then that was probably the number one thing that made me a huge water drinker was the kidney stones because water helps to break up and aid in the passing of kidney stones but it protects our organs and our tissues. It regulates our body temperature. Uh, if we don't drink enough water, we don't have enough way to regulate our body temperature, temperature and we can get either really, really cold and um, or really, really hot, overheated or uh, hypothermia. It maintains our electrolyte balance, uh, which helps our brain and everything else function right. So how do you know how much water you should drink? It's up to you. You're gonna have to test it out. Me. Eight glasses of water a day is about perfect for me. And I've, 
I've experimented with it a lot. Following my kidney stones, I would drink like a gallon or two of water a day. And then I'd be up all night going to the bathroom. So that was too much. And then I backed off. Now, after my sudden cardiac arrest, I had fallen into the not taking care of myself bad habits, right? Sometimes we, we get busy in life and we don't pay attention to our physical health. I don't recommend it, but a lot of us do it and have bad experiences because of it. So my dad, after... I woke up from the coma, was talking to me about water and that, I because I was saying, I never drink water. I was living on, prior to my heart event, Diet Coke, literally living on Diet Coke and coffee, and then maybe some jalapeno chips for, for before I went to bed. It was, I was so not taking good care of myself. So not only was my diet bad, but I wasn't drinking, I was drinking zero water. I don't think I had a single glass of water a day, unless it was I don't even know if I was taking vitamins back then. I want to say I probably was not. And so I wasn't even drinking water to take vitamins. I might have been throwing back some ibuprofen periodically for headaches, but that would have been it. So uh, what my dad taught me was, he said, okay, I am not a water drinker either, but after my heart attack, and it turns out he had had several heart attacks and strokes that he didn't know about. He was definitely a type A workaholic personality. He started leaving a glass of water full where he would see it or walk by it all the time, like in his daily traffic pattern. So I remember going to his office and he always had a glass of water on his desk. And as soon as it was emptied, he'd fill it up again. And at first he said he used little post-it notes. These are actual, no, these are recycled post-it notes. Uh, he used post-it notes to keep track of, these are official 3M post-it notes. So he used post-it notes, and I've got a, a list of something on there, let's take it off. And he would use a little hatch mark and put a little hatch mark whenever he had a glass of water. So he would five, six, seven, eight, how many ever he would have during the day. And he would actually write it down and track it. Why? Because what we measure, what we track, we pay attention to. And pretty soon it just became a habit. And by, by putting it in a, a high traffic place where he would walk by and take me a drink every time he walked by it, it became easy and natural for him to consume plenty of water during the day and then he didn't have to track anymore but that's how I did it I learned using his same strategy get a, a piece of paper or a post-it note or a little notebook or something and then just put it by your glass of water in a place you're gonna walk by often or set it on your desk and then whenever you see it take a little drink it doesn't take you can have a drink of water while you're doing something else so uh, that was his trick our action item today is just share in the comments below about how much water you think you consume a day right now, right now. And of course, we're gonna encourage you to improve that if you so choose, but at least test it out on yourself. But today, just share, hey, I, be like me in 2010. I drink zero glasses of water a day. I don't intentionally drink or consume any water. Now, I, I easily drink eight to 10 glasses of water a day, or I like to do, uh, four of these big bottles and I use the the smart water bigger bottles but I like to have at least four of those a day in addition to the, the coffee the couple cups of coffee I'm gonna have or anything else I might drink I really don't drink much besides coffee tea and water these days those are sort of my beverages oh and once in a while a glass of red wine or it might start lemonade I had one of those last night I admit it all right have an awesome day if I can help you in any way. If you have any questions about this or about hydration or comments about hydration and how it's impacted you, please share in the comments below. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another physical related topic uh, for our 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us. I think drinking more water can improve about 80% of the population right now, their diet and, and health. All right, have an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow.